guys. Welcome to Portland. Oh, mind you your step. Enjoy your day. Hand down four mile. Summit done. morning getting towards the end of four mile uh, only one little fall uh, sun's coming up uh, weather's perfect uh, it's a bit humid but uh, it's going to be a great day so we'll be at the bottom of four mile in the next few minutes see you there okay at the Hakwa River lovely Waterproof. Waterproof. Beautiful cool water. Cool feet down. What a view! Thank you. Good. Four mile checkpoint. Look at you guys. Hey. Say one eight four. One eight four. Excellent. It should be. That's me. Yep. Good. Thank you. Okay, just leaving four mile checkpoint. Saw uh, Nita and Ben there, which is lovely to see. I uh, got there about 20 past 7, so making pretty good time. Uh, just trying to keep the pace even and steady and not you know, blow out early, so keep going at about this pace. Try not to fall. Look at the view. Where would you rather be? Right, heading towards 8 mile. Starting to hit up 8 mile, it's uh, 20 past 8, making a really good time, keeping the heart rate sort of between 120 and 135 beats a minute, trying to leave myself a little bit of reserve, feeling really good, um, just trying to keep a steady pace up, so 500 metres or so we'll be heading up 8 mile, which is just a massive climb, so we'll see you at the top. Thanks for that. Oh, really? Yes, looking, not feeling. <laughs> not look, not feeling. Well, you're looking at Good on you. Good thank job. you. Thanks for that. Oh. I'm feeling alright. How are you? I'm doing really well. T1, T184. 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 Perfect. Thanks for doing this. Oh, thank you. You're marvellous. Beautiful. Good idea. Okay, that's uh, 8 Mile Aid Station, so this is the start of 8 Mile. Big climb. We're just going to keep pushing and pushing to get to the top. That's the biggest climb today. Get it done. See you at the top. 
that's uh, 8 30 just after 8 30 and uh well into eight mile the uh, runners are really thinned out now so i haven't seen anyone for uh, probably 15 minutes so really yeah uh, just alone with your own thoughts but i know the mfj crew are tracking family and friends keeps me pushing along thanks guys So still on 8 mile, it's uh, just after 9 o'clock, very very long sustained climb, uh, the sun's coming up now, there's a bit of light, uh, haven't seen any of the runners now for a, long, a quarter while, so uh, keep pushing on, uh, just try not to stop and just power through, get to the top. Still on 8 mile, <laughs> uh, run about probably 23 or 24 k, something like that. Um, very easy to find the trail here, um, Andy and the team from the Hut Tut team have done an unbelievably good job in clearing it, I don't know how they do it, um, it's such a job, uh, but it makes it so much easier to find your way and actually get through these single trails. So thanks Andy and crew, it's, it's incredible. Um, push on. So I've been running for about four and a half hours and can't see refrigerator gap on the map just yet. Can't be far off, probably maybe 30 minutes away. Um, I've got it marked on the, on the watch on the Garmin, the Phoenix 7. So, uh, uh, be good to get there, fill up the water, fill up the food and uh, crack on from there. So food wise this year I'm doing something a bit different. So I've got uh, uh, on board Sports Fuel 101, uh, Bulk Nutrients uh, does that. Um, it's got uh, carbs and protein and all the salts in it so I'm doing 60, 60 grams of that every 45 minutes. Seems to give me everything I need. Picking up a bit of solid food as well at the aid stations. They do all sorts of food. Uh, oranges, bananas, sandwiches, donuts sometimes, toasties, all sorts of things. But I'm sort of sticking to the fruit. So uh, get something solid in the tummy as well. So navigation wise, um, pretty easy to navigate the course, so the, the, the trails are, are pretty well cleared and pretty easy to, to in the most part to, to see. Um, these pink uh, little ribbons you see every now and again which uh, lets you know you're on the right track. And I've got the map on the on the watch, so on the Garmin uh, Phoenix 7, so if, um, if I start to go off track by only a few metres, five or six metres, it, the, the watch buzzes and lets me know, hey, you're, uh, you've, you've gone the wrong way or you're off track or whatever it might be. So that's, uh, I means it's pretty easy to find your way. You can just focus on keeping up a good pace and keep moving. Yeah, that'd be good. Thanks, Ben. No Nada, good to see you. You're doing well. So. Yeah. Okay, that's eight mile done, and I feel pretty good. But it is it is brutal. I won't lie. It is so tough. Um, sustained climb just doesn't doesn't seem to finish. Lots of false summits. Um, just got to keep powering through and get it done. So that's done. So just left with refrigerator gap aid station so Ben and Nita again great support from those guys 
and all the volunteers it's just amazing you get into the aid station and they're just all over you fill your water feed you get you moving absolutely terrific so on the last stretch now feeling pretty good it's a beautiful day it's a bit warmer than I thought it was going to be so I've uh, put more sunscreen on and pulled the fluoro sleeves up but I uh, feel pretty good so looking forward to getting to Lovick's hut and having a bit of a stop so start of the track to Bluff Hut they reckon 5.6 k three hours it's not that it's it's quicker than that so 1.5 k's to the Bluff summit so uh, let's get cracking and get it done So we're heading to up towards the bluff summit. Um, I've stowed the walking poles away because it's just a bit vertical uh, to get up here when there's some really big drops down there. You can see it's really, really steep and rocky. So we've got a bit of a climb, rock climb, just up ahead to get us to the uh, to get us to the summit. The views are really good from there. I'll take a couple of photos. So just past the Bluff Summit, um, absolutely outstanding views. Yeah. So it's about uh, just after midday. Uh, I got to Refrigerator Gap at about 10:40. So it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes to get to uh, Bluff Hut and Lovick's from here. But I'm sort of aiming for about 2 p.m. So if I'm getting there by about 2 p.m., I'll be happy. So here we go, very sunny up here, very exposed. Lots of sunscreen today. So we'll keep pushing on and uh, get the bluff up, hopefully not too far. So well on the way to uh, Bluff Hut, uh, there's in the distance here, that's, that's Buller, that's where we started this morning, we've made, uh, we've been going for about seven and a quarter hours, well, we're well into it, we're probably 30 odd k's in, um, injury wise pretty good, so I've got a couple of hot spots on uh, my toes which I, I expect, um, knees good, Quads were pretty uh, pretty torched coming up eight mile, but they've recovered okay, so feeling pretty good. So nothing to complain about. Feeling pretty good. We'll crack on and get to uh, Bluff Hut. Thank you very much. Too kind. Thanks guys. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. A bit short of water. But, yeah, um, oh, we've got heaps of water here. Yeah. Last one. Just left the Bluff Hut. Had a little bit of solid food, had some fruit there. And it's about, ran a bit six coast to Lovick's. The overnight stop. So, well on track with what I wanted to do. Uh, a bit of uphill here, but try and keep the heart rate under control and but keep moving as quick as I can. Next stop Lovick's. Okay, about nine hours in. Nine hours on the trails. And we're just short of Lovick's. I say we because it feels like the uh, my fitness journey cruise here with me. Okay, so left Lovick's at 5am, it's 20 past 5 now. 
uh, making good time. So we're heading up to uh, the AAWT turnoff, which will be just up ahead, and uh, in for a long day. Good morning, gents. Thanks for that. All good. Thank you. Okay, passing just through AAWT turn off. Feel like the legs have warmed up now. Uh, got that bit of soreness out from yesterday. Heart rate's good. Feel like I can get into a bit of a rhythm here, so let's uh, crack on. So I got to Gantner at about five past eight. Didn't muck around there too long. Um, energy levels are quite up and down today, but feeling okay at the moment. So I'll we'll crack on heading towards Crosscut Saw. Uh, heading across Crosscut Saw now, and absolutely outstanding views. Uh, a bit misty on one side and beautiful and blue on the other. Um, so we'll uh, get across there. I've got Elsie about five minutes ahead of me. I can see him on the next ridge So I'll see if we can catch up to him and uh, keep him company So we're uh, heading towards Mount Speculation aid station and this is where I remember this hill Peter Whitlock Last year and you pushed and pushed up here and it's steep and it's tough and it was hot and uh but you pushed on at uh, this very hill. So, with Mount Speculation, probably gonna be a couple of hours. And uh, push on from there. Still heading over Crosscut. Um, outstanding day, a little bit of cloud, which is great, because it's keeping that sun off. Uh, looking over here, that's the uh, Wanangatta Valley down through there. Be better without the cloud, but the cloud's good at the moment. Keeps the sun off me. So I threw the worst to crosscut saw and it was really tough today. It was um, it's a rock scramble and uh, really fatiguing. So uh, a few more ascents and then we'll be at Mount Spec. Uh, and after Mount Spec there's a, a nice Little, slightly flat section, we can get a bit of pace up. Okay, top of Mount Speculation. Good day, good day. Just left Speculation, Aid Station, got there at about, about 11.50 or so. Uh, it's quite warm, sun's really hot, so I got a stack of sunscreen on, filled up my water of course and sorted my food out. Um, actually feeling pretty good, so uh, hopefully I'll stay up and uh, make some good time to uh, to um, muesli. See you down at the bottom. Okay, so it's been about seven k, just under seven k since Mount Speculation Aid Station, and made uh, my way to the top of Muesli Spur Track. Um, it'll be a bit shady. It's been really hot, so look forward to a bit of shade on the uh, Muesli Spur. I'm going to put my walking poles away. On the on the muesli spur because it's can be really steep or it is really steep and can be really slippery. I fell on my ass last year. I don't do that again, but I probably will. All right, let's get to uh, Kings. Uh -huh. 
Thanks for the welcome. Good, mate. Good. Yeah. No worries. Hey. Yes. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you. No worries. So just left King's hut. Stopped there for about 10 minutes and had a zuba duba. A little bit to eat, filled up the food. And now uh, it's the last big climb really to Craig's hut, which is um it's a it's a big climb. But right now we're gonna cross the river, the King River, and get the uh, get the feet cooled down. Oh, fantastic. What a pretty, pretty view. Alright, feels a bit better on the feet. Up we go to fire, big fire track and then a little bit more ascent and it's up, up, up all the way. So we'll see at Craig's. Well, at uh, Craig's hut and that was a really tough climb and it's getting a bit late in the afternoon now. It's, uh, time is it? it's quarter past five so but that's the last biggest climb. The rest is not as bad as that. So I'm on track, which is great. This Craig's hut. I'm going around the aid station, fill my water, organise my food. And head back to Buller. I should probably go and have a look at Craig's up, but I, I can't be asked. I'll be honest. Just want to keep moving. So, get me to the aid station and uh, do what I got to do first. Just leaving Craig's hut. I got there at about 20 past five. Uh, just quick fill with the water bottle and move on again. Uh, it's only 4.4 k's to the next hut, which is Geelong Grammar. So it's pretty quick, um, pretty quick section. Um, I'll try and get a move on there. Try and get a bit of a, a jog up and eat the k's up. Okay, just left uh, Geelong Grammar hut. Uh, it's 6.30 and I'm heading to uh, Haukwa Hut and it's, it's about 4.8 k's I think, something like that a little bit of a scent feeling pretty stuffed I must admit just keep pushing on and do this last little bit okay so that's Buller Summit all the way over there so that's where I'm going to be tonight. Yeah. So it's really just Haukwa Hut now, which is 4.8 k's, as I said, and um, and then about 10 k's to the summit, and from the summit back to the village. So a little bit to go, but that looks like a long, long way away from here. Uh, just left Haukwa Gap Hut. Got there about 20 past seven. Alski and uh, Mars were there. Mars getting a bit of first aid on the toes. So, well into the last, second last section, heading to the summit and then from the summit to the village, to the finish line. Sun will be setting in about 15 minutes. So I'll put the headlamp back on because we'll probably 
probably get a bit dark but this time I'm walking this track I can actually see last year it was pitch black about 10 30 at night and I didn't have a very good headlamp so this is this is luxury okay so I'm at the summit two and a half k's from the finish line which is down down that way you can't see it it's down in the village let's get it done let's get this finished okay about 100 meters from the finish line I can hear the music Oh, what an event.